Hello. Hello. Um, notes. Make sure you take them. And we're going to get started. <laughs> Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Standard form and point slope form to slope intercept form. We're doing all of it. We're transforming, for, transferring, forming? Sure. <laughs> so you have point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals n parentheses x minus x1. Then you have standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. And then, of course, you have our beloved slope intercept form, which we all love so much. Most popular, the one thing that everybody remembers y equals mx plus b. So first we're going to do point slope form to slope intercept form. So we have point slope form. What you're going to do first is you are going to distribute. So then once you distribute, um, you are then going to isolate y. So that basically means that we're going to subtract that 4 from both sides. We get y equals negative 2x minus 6. So then we'll do the next example. So we're going to distribute that negative one-fifth. I know, not a fraction. It's totally okay. So negative one-fifth times x is still going to be negative one-fifth x. And then negative one-fifth times negative five. You have to think about what is a fifth of five? Good, it's one. So then I'm going to subtract the 3 because we got to get y by itself. And we're going to get y equals negative 1 fifth x minus 2. Well, why is the example 1 and the example 2 coming up on the screen at the end? Annoying. Okay. So standard form to slope intercept form. So again, you want to isolate y. So that means we got to get rid of that x term. And so minus 2x minus 2x, that's going to give me y equals negative 2x minus 4. And then we're going to do x plus 4y equals 12. Again, you want to get y by itself. So we're going to subtract x from both sides. We're going to get 4y equals negative x plus 12. But then to get y by itself completely, you want to make sure that you divide by 4. Divide by 4, divide by 4. So that's going to give you y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 3. That's example three and example four. Okay, so then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do standard form to slope intercept form. Get rid of the x, get rid of the coefficient. Y equals negative one half x plus four. x minus 2y equals negative 4. Subtract that x. This is the most popular, like what you're going to do the most is, is do standard form to slope intercept form. So that's why we got to focus on this a lot. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Example 5 and example 6. More standard form to slope intercept form. Why do we do this? Because it's such a valuable skill. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the x, divide by the coefficient. That's why I tell my students get rid of the x, divide by the coefficient, get rid of the x, divide by the coefficient, get rid of the x, divide by the coefficient all the time. Remember, negative divided by negative is a positive. So that's how we get positive one half, and that's how we also get positive four. Subtract x. Negative y equals negative x minus 4. A lot of times, which I'll be doing is you forget that negative in the front. You have to divide by negative 1. Remember, negative divided by negative is a positive, so I'm going to get positive x, positive 4. It's example 7 and example 8. Um, okay, so now what if they just look crazy, right? Like what if... They're not in any specific form, but you want to put it in slope-intercept form. 
what you're going to do is, is you're going to isolate y. So in this case, that means move that 6 over to the other side. And now y is almost alone, but what's next to that y that I need to remember? I need to remember to get rid of the negative 2, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. So y equals positive 1 half x minus 3. Again, another problem. This one actually is in point slope form, okay? But sometimes they don't tell you what form it's in. They just give you a problem, and they're like, put it in slope-intercept form. So you got to know your goal, your chief goal to get something in slope-intercept form is always to isolate y. So in this case, we're going to go back to those little parentheses. Distribute that one-third. Don't let the fraction freak you out. If I have six things, I need to divide them by three. That's the same thing as multiplying by a third. That's two. Another group of two. Another group of two. There's three groups of two. So one-third of six is two. I hope that made sense. <laughs> Um, now to get y by itself, I'm going to get rid of that minus 2 by plusing 2. y equals 1 third x plus 2. It's example 9 and example 10. Ta-da! Uh, oh, yes. As I always say. <laughs> uh, make sure you go back to the video, see if you could do the examples on your own without my help. If not... Um, you still like, comment, subscribe, tell your aunties and your uncles and your cousins and your best friends and your homeschool friends, everybody about the channel. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.